Hey guys, and welcome back to the Sports Pitch Podcast. Today we're filming the round 26 review. It's been a big week, and uh, as you've noticed, there is something different here because Ali is not here and I am in the middle. And we have another Bulldog supporter that we can laugh at. Yes, I am. Do you want to introduce yourself? You want to tell him your name? Not really. Not really? He's going to be here for the next <laughs> couple of weeks, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling it for Ali. His name is Khaloudi. You can call me Khaled. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Hola. No. Man, call me Khaled. All right, it's Khaled. Khaloudi. Bulldog supporter. If you want to laugh at him in the comments, you can do so. You know, Billy. Billy's always the same. Hey, Billy. Hey, man. That's my friend. Before we go anywhere, how, how's your week been, Khaled? It's been all right. Uh, pretty shit way to end it. Yeah. <laughs> Doggiest fan, as you can tell. Oh, lovely. Hey, let me tell you something. It was a Sunday last game. Would you prefer it to be on a Thursday? I prefer it to not be at all. <laughs> I prefer a buy. He'd rather him not play at all no, with the way they're going. Disgusting. Yeah. We will talk about it because, wow, that was horrendous. But how are you being? Good, good, you know. Foot is getting interesting. The race to the finals is on. Oh, the tip of the iceberg, Ali. That's it. <laughs> the tip of the iceberg. So, yeah, can't wait for next week. Been a good week for you. Yeah, but roosters, eh? Yeah, we'll get into it. We won't uh, beat around the bush. How about you, mate? Me? Oh, thanks for asking, <laughs> see, man. Happy. Now I don't forget, see? I, f- I felt what Ali felt. My week's been good, bro. I had a good day today. Good You're man. feeling good with the Dragons. <laughs> No, honestly, you should be. Uh, they have been oh, you know, he's, he's I guess the Warriors. Right. Right. They have been playing well, but talking about it, not the Warriors. The Penrith versus Para this week, uh, the fir- first game of the week, Thursday yep. night. Yep, yep. Para 32, Penrith 18. Did anyone see that coming? Yes. Did you? Yes. Wow, that's a big call. Ask Shaker, ask my brother. Every year, every year, I say, it was versus Storms, it was versus Penrith, is never a guaranteed game. It was versus Storms and it was versus Penrith. Yeah, it was for some reason for the last, since 8 it was if I was had oh, Storms number, for some reason. You had no doubt because Moses wasn't there? No doubt. I always say, I, I did tip Panthers, not that I take it seriously. <laughs> I did tip them. But I said to Shaker, I got Eels are going to win comfortably. I don't know why. I don't know how. Cool. I didn't even know about Sorensen. I didn't know about Edwards. I didn't know about Tariva. I just knew. And against Storms, for some reason, they have no structure against the Eels. Literally, uh, Siva did come out with a first half hat trick. He did get four tries in the whole game, yeah. and Lua did dislocate his shoulder. For, uh, that that was the second half. I'm pretty sure of the game, but at, at that point in the game, they were already getting yeah, busted. yeah. Even when Lua was on, they were getting rumped. It was bad. Oh, it was he was the main man. You hate to say it, Gutherson. Gutho. Gutho literally leg, turned Gutho. up. Yeah, on one leg, he literally turned up and ran a mark on Penrith. Oh, I'd say Dylan Brown, but. No, nah, you gotta give it to one leg Gutho. <laughs> <We're laughs> That's his new name. What's, the, what's Dylan Brown got to do with his team getting mm. mocked? He said, I'll say, oh, Dylan Brown, sorry. I thought you said uh, Dylan Edwards, my bad. No, 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 Edwards didn't play. Yeah, he I've didn't. got actually an interesting stat mm. for you guys. Mm. Um, I saw it on Facebook. Facebook. Mm. Is um, that a reliable source? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it is. Let's hope so. So, uh, for the last six games against Panthers, um, everyone's stat against the Panthers was shocking. Zero and, two, uh, zero and six. One and six, mm. two and whatever, two and four, mm. uh, one and five, two and four. It was one's actually four wins and two losses to the Panthers in the last six games. So they have, no, Para have beaten them twice this year. Twice yeah, this they, they year, twice earlier, last yeah. year. Lost in the big game because of the Chokers. Yeah, the one that mattered. <clears throat> the one that mattered, they lose. The one that mattered, that's the Eels for you. They show up in games where it doesn't matter. When it matters, no one to be seen. I see, that's what I was saying to these guys, like him and Ali. You can't predict this year. It's whoever shows up, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Roosters pump Eels last week. Mm. Then Eels come out and beat the Premiers. And without Moses and the one leg Gutherson, it's it's a big achievement. Nathan Cleary did go missing. I don't know where he was most of that game. No, nah, he was trying. It just nothing well, was well, working. Well, the first half he yeah, was very nothing. quiet. Yeah, Until Luai easy. got injured, he realised he had to step up. Luai now, speaking of Luai, he is suspectedly gone for four weeks. Mm. I'm cheering. Bro. Doesn't I'm cheering. seem that um, serious. Doesn't seem that serious, eh? Oh, it's a shoulder injury, so... Apparently, it's a dislocation, right? Yeah, but... the that takes time to heal, yeah. obviously. Yeah. But well, they, they, they got to pray they ever win round one then. But how do you send uh, down for the, the next finals. couple of weeks? Well, they've got Cowboys. Next week, yeah. Cleary, I don't think... Will rest. Easy game. Yeah, they won't rest players this week, I reckon. Oh, they can't. Um, for the minor premiers, you For saying. the prime minor premiership. That's right. They will make top two, obviously. Yeah, of course. And they have to win first week of finals, or I see them losing two weeks in a row without Lord. I agree. Um, before we move on, mm. I really want to talk about Gutho. Talk about Gutho. He impressed me. He did. Uh, they did I hate to him. say it, 
He impressed me. Because look, as much shit as I talk about him, his efforts there. You gotta give him. Uh, his efforts I don't there. care what anyone says. Yeah. The credit is you have to give it to him. I got a few highlights. I'm not gonna go through more, but there's a few runs here. Gutho passes a few people, runs it, flicks it to Sevo. Gutho beats Peachy, Jenkins, and Croydon. Gutho done not all these games. On Maybe. one leg, he on one leg throws an underarm and passes to Sevo. Gutherson, we're not talking Billy Slater. Yeah, and he did get his own try as well. We're not talking. You know what I mean? This is Gutho you're talking well, about. This is Gutho not relying on Moses. A lot of people year. have been calling for Gutherson to be New South Wales fullback. No, not that no, much. That's I, I have <laughs> seen no, it. The trust isn't that much. Look, just look at it last week. What did he do last week? It's not about trust. It's about his work rate. His work rate is big. He's got massive work rate. I put Dylan Edwards over him. Oh, 100%. But the work rate is there. I'm just saying. I put a lot of fullbacks over him. I'm just saying. His efforts there. He's not the best athlete. He's got work rate and heart. He always shows up. That's it. That's what I'm going to say. All right, we'll move on to Warriors versus Dragons. Warriors 18, Dragons 6. It was you, you can take the lead, mate. So we did have, they finally, finally Dragons fans have been calling for Fee Guy, Fee Nay, whatever his name is, to get dropped. They did replace him with a deputant. His name's Sione Finau, Finau, whatever. Finau, yeah, he, did, he played all right for the first 20 minutes he was on. On debut, he gets injured, gets carried off the field. And then Lomax gets a head, head knock. Also gets carried off the field. So we did hold our own. It was still 10 to 6 or whatever. 10 to nil, 10 nil at half time. With all those players out, we done well. But um, yeah, Sloan, Sloan fucked up in the back. Sloan, Sloan, Sloan. What did, what, he, like, he, I'm what sorry, he look, look about your team. He can't be there next year. I was going to say that. If you, no, look, on the wing, I, th- I think there's potential on the wing. He can jump, he's fast. Mm. Just get him away from fullback. I was going to say, under Shane Flanagan, if he does not learn his trade by the time the season kicks oh, off next year, on. drop him because he has costed us a lot of games. That fuck-up is not a fuck-up any fullback makes. That is just something he does, him. Have it, you seen any other fullback? Every do game. Yeah, because he do you does know, it constantly. Bro, do, you, do, you know what, do you know when that first happened? I was like, oh, what a, what a sicker. He put it down, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They replay and the ref gives us a try. I was like, what? Yeah. I talk about him. Do you know how much I talk about him? How much times have you heard me say potential, potential, potential? You he, listen to this guy. I said it to him. How many times do I no, talk about him? I praise him. He says it, and and I'm starting to see that he has no potential. He's got potential, but he's just got half a brain. No, he That's the only problem. He, he can't be fullback. He can't. He can't. That's the only problem. And the bigger concern is the Warriors. They're slowing all year, down. all year, looking like a grand final team. No, no, it's slowing and, down. Like, what's going on? Well, yeah. I'm not even the up to us sort of person. I'm never gonna say that. Because <laughs> Bulldogs, my team, through and through. Ali, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, it's just not looking good, man. Not looking yeah, good. They have their full team, correct? Yeah. No one's missing. Yeah. And yeah. the last three weeks, you can see they're slowing down. Very slow. Metcalf. 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 Big out. Oh, yeah. Very big out. They have been slow. And I did say last week, when we t- when we done our tipping, I did say, I tipped the Warriors, obviously, but I did say we can get them because they have been falling off the horse. If it wasn't for an error like Sloan's, we were still in that game. Mate, it was 10-6. I think the change was if Lomax scored in the first five seconds of that game. Oh, what a start to a game. I think he's going and... Judging by the game that came. How good is Lomax though, right? He's, he's picking up... And the team that's falling See, apart. when you talk about potential there, you can oh, see yeah. it. How old is he? How, How old? old? He's he? like 23. Yeah, he's a kid. He's he, did, so he started off his career so well and then he took that dip at the start of this, at the end of last season, start of this season, but now he's picking up form again. I reckon we could have got the Warriors in this game. Yeah, but like I said, I think Warriors, we all want them to win, you know. We all, and we're all in love with they're them. They're just not built for it, bro, right? I honestly, to win the Premiership, they're at like 5% for me. They can't go into the finals with this sort of form. Yeah, they got, they got to realize they've got Penrith or Broncos first week. The top four sides, it's big. the top four or five sides will actually punish them if they go into, into the finals. 18. And I do like the Waz. We are. The, I am an up the wise type of guy. But if they go into into the finals like this, it's not going to work, work out well for them. Uh, right. Dolphins and Cowboys was the next game. Dolphins ten, Cowboys thirty four. Thrashing. It was a thrashing. I think there was a few play, players out for the Dolphins. Mm, the Dolphins are good. Yeah, they were they weren't recovering. No matter the how they course. go from now till they finish, to start off a year the way they did, and the way they've carried themselves, that's a win. The Dolphins are. So. Were, so. Whether they come out with one player or freaking <coughs> 17 players, they always come out with heart. I've noticed that. Of course, playing under Wayne Bennett, he's not going to choose someone that doesn't have heart. He always chooses his side Brings the best correctly. Yeah, he does. And that's, that's Uncle Wayne's magic. Well, when you've got um, 13 set players with no depth and no... That's the thing, yeah. There's no... It's hard, it's like hard. You can't blame anyone. You can't blame Wayne Bennett. Not even Bennett himself with his magic hands. He can't... 
What can you do? One injury no, throws your side into like chaos. The hammer has been for how many positions? I feel like he's played every position this year. Yeah. And most of them have hit a Nicarima fullback fucking in the halves, in mm. the centres, on the wing, but he's been throwing him around as well. It's hard when you're first coming into the NRL and you don't have that much depth. You've got to make yeah, do with what you've got. Of course, next year, that's where the depth is. They'll have a feeder club, hopefully. Mm. Now, club, the Cowboys club. winning this game do keep their, ho- uh, their finals mm. hopes a bit lit. Well, they but do uh, have to be a full strength, other than Norway. Yeah. We don't know, team. though. We don't know it's full strength. Because Cleary can come around and say, you know what? Minor premiers, not so important to me. Could say, which I doubt he is. Let's just focus on the first week of finals, because no Luai... This could be a problem. I did see a stat that <coughs> their strike rate is like seven wins and six losses without Luai, and with him is like 90, 90 something wins and like six lo- uh, six yeah, losses. But with him on the side. Yeah, they're comparing years and compared to yeah, like but a few. yeah, that's true. But you know. although I don't see him, I honestly, Luai compliments Cleary honestly. He 100%. does, but without Luai, there's no left side team. You know. We have said this, we've said it before. Luai in Penrith is a superstar. Yeah, of course. Any other team, we don't know. But no, well, we, we can only compare him to Luai in Penrith and Luai in New South Wales. New South Wales is not made for it. Penrith to go to guide that system top team around. He's a freak. He can do that hoppy stuff, the jumping around stuff. That's that's sort of a distraction actually when it comes to the attack. Of course. Him jumping from left to right and left and trying to get in that gap. That's a, that's created enough time for Cleary to set up. Not even like because I always compare him to who Manchester City. It's a weird comparison, <coughs> very probably a dumb comparison, yeah. but the structure, the way they're so structured, is just beyond me. Yeah, well, the way they play. Storms was like that, but they fell off for the last few years, and Panthers just come out of nowhere. Storms are still sort of like they are. They've got a structural type of play. They've got they're a system team. So is Penrith. They they've got a system going on, and they just work by it, and it works for them. Luai <coughs> is very elusive, like you were saying. He could. He can bounce around. He can throw the ball around. Awesome. <laughs> Feeling all right there, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's producers laughing for no reason. Yeah, you forgot oh, we were filming, mate? He's a kid, bro. Yeah, he can, he can get that pass away, Luai, or he can run himself. That's what... He always puts the defence in, in no, it's like, three it's like, it's like what we say about Johnson. Like, Luai one, he'll run at you, step you. Mm. Next one, he's going to step me, he's going to pass. What's he going to do? It, it's, it causes confusion in the defensive minds. So, without Luai... Cleary has to do it literally himself. 100%. Because, what's that guy that... Koga, he's a halfback. He's not a 5'8". If they play him, he's not the type that runs the lines and all that shit. So. Yeah, 100%. And that's, he will most likely be Luai's replacement. Yeah. Honestly, I see Cowboys beating him next week. Koga, uh, Koga was there off the bench, was he not, this week? Yeah, and look... Yeah, it was, it was still f- yeah. pretty stale. Yeah. But Cowboys are looking like they want... They, they want to compete. But just... Now, a lot of people wrote him off when Valentine Holmes got... Suspended. Well, they've lost a lot of games since Valentine game, Holmes. Right? It's a massive no, but I think that's, isn't that the first game they've won since Holmes? Yeah, game? that's right. So I'm pretty sure yeah. it is. They lost three in a row, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's mm. the first game they've won. But uh, And he won't come back unless it's the f- first week in the finals, finals yeah. which we hope we don't see because we want to see the Roosters and the Rabbitohs Not me. as a thriller. Well, the way you things... You don't want to see that? You don't want to see the Roosters uh, in there, you Let's flop. move on and I'll explain in a later game Okay. about that. But You're just a... No, 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 we'll get to the risk. You don't want anyone else happy. Got a lot of ups. Let's just move on. <laughs> okay. So moving on, the next game is Melbourne 37, the Titans 16. Talk about a grand final team. You like the Titans. Yeah. Did they play up to your potential in that game? No chance. No chance. Melbourne has been subpar. We all agree that Melbourne's been a bit rusty. No, nowhere near their best. Nowhere no. near their best. But to come out and produce that... Hopefully, going into the finals, they find a bit of form and some confidence off the back of that. They are finding form. Look, the thing about the Titans, look, I'm a big fan of Titans. I watch all their games. Yeah. I, I actually watch them all. I love no, them. I know that. All right. The thing is, that team that works off momentum, if they don't score first try and have you on the back foot, they fold. If they're not leading the dance. Yeah, the they team. fold. Yeah. Bro, the wingers, both wingers for Melbourne were just running a mark. Like, oh, literally. Warbrick is easy. looking good, bro. Yeah, he is. He'll lose <laughs> his spot. But he will lose his spot, but. It's sad, but he has to, right? You're not going to drop Meany for him. No way. Meany, of no course, is going to get dropped for Pappenhausen. But speaking of Pappenhausen, he did come back for 20 minutes. But <clears throat> nah, you can, they I, threw I, expect, him I expect him to play way longer than that. Of course. They threw him in to get a bit of game time. He, had, he has come back from a massive injury, bro. You yeah, can't just throw him into yeah, the Yeah, but what, now do you start him against Cowboys? Well, yeah, you, you start him a week later than... What did than they do wrong? I reckon it was good for them to bring Pappenhausen to Off the bench? 
Off the bench towards the end of the Why game. Why? What? Twenty minutes? Twenty minutes? Ten minutes? Even against who? Against Titans? Yeah, that's good. That's oh, why you're maybe gonna... they should have played him exactly. more. Yes, game, yes. But it is what it is. I guess move on. Next week, play full game. It's the Storms. No, I don't have the Bulldogs. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But uh, you know, if you want to bring Pappenhausen in, you got to bring him in against a team like the Titans, because imagine he did start at fullback and he does kill it. He will be on His top of the world. Yeah. Right? His confidence will be through the roof. Yeah. Right now. You mm. see in his run, he's a bit scared to run. He's worried about his leg, whatever. It's understandable. If you bring him in early, give him a full game, don't use him as much as you use him throughout other seasons, but bleed him in slowly. Get him oh, look, used look, to running again, playing the 80 minutes. Titans was the perfect game to bring him in. Yeah. You're, like we all knew, Storms were going to put a number on him. Yeah. You bring in Pappenhausen, let him have fun. Let him run around, let him pass the ball, let him do everything. Of course, and playing 80 minutes in the first grade is completely different to playing of 80 course. minutes oh in the lower grades. It's a, a lot more, like, he's got to do the hit-ups, mm. you've got you to gotta be there. If it's you don't show work, up, you're, yeah, you're, you're fucked. And they played him at lock, like... Yeah, no, it's... It's, it's dumb. He was taking, taking hit up. That's what I'm saying. Mm. That you, you that's not good for his knee. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That like, was so weird to see. That's what I like it. third tackle, running straight at the forwards, that was like, wow. Yeah. This guy, this size... Coming back from that injury, running at who? Who was he running at? But the Fafita is well. Tino and shit. Yeah, Tino. Tino. Yeah, Tino. Tino. It's like when you played Red Money up prop. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Just, no, Would you start him <laughs> next week? <laughs> don't, don't, don't you dip in the <laughs> 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 Oh, they're coming <laughs> up soon. They're coming don't up soon. Don't you dip in. <laughs> Would you start Pappenhausen next week? 100%. Yes. You have to. You have to. Do you listen? want him starting in the Cowboys? Oh, no. They've no. They're seen a good team, I'm pretty sure. Melbourne has. Oh, no, Broncos, Broncos. Broncos. There you go. Melbourne has Broncos. Oh, my God. Exactly. <laughs> hey, game to bring him back, eh? That's the thing. You bring him back in a game like this, it leads into the semis. Yeah. Let him not feel. If he comes off the bench this week and plays 30 nah, minutes, no good. next week, I wouldn't even play him. You've got to bring him in oh, with sorry, the like mindset that you're going up against Queensland's best fullback. You come out and you show him. And there's what a good you chance have. you're versing him week one of semis again. Yeah, exactly. Like so you've got to show him what you got. Um, last week, you spoke about Munster mm. and that's stepping up. Mm. Boy, did he step up this game. Oh, yeah, he came out. Oh, look, it's the Titans, bro. That's what I'm going to say. Bro, look, Munster, he, the way he stepped up this game is the way he steps up every other game. You do say... Because Egan Butcher stepped up against Titans, please. <laughs> no, you're saying it's the like, Titans, but... You're talking about... You just spoke about how... You just spoke about him very highly, the Titans. You're making him sound like they're well, very loves them. The bloke loves them. You did... No, I, believe, up I, I know they have potential. To step up against their forwards, the way Munster just hops around the way he normally does. Yeah, but when did Munster... Have the, he hopped around and the game was pretty much done, cuz. You can't say it's the Titans because he didn't show up against the Dragons, bro. What was against the Dragons. You're not a shit team. We're well, not a shit team, but neither are the Titans. I see what Ali's talking about now when he talks behind your back. <laughs> For her shots. Yeah. You see what it says about you? Hopefully Pappenhausen starts next week, is all I'm saying. Yeah. I think so. he does. Um, one of them's going to cop the axe, which is a... Uh, Probably Warbrick. Sad. All in form. Coates, Hattrick. Wow. Yeah, wow. Warbrick, nice. he, he hat trick against the Dragons last week. He comes out, gets himself another try this week. He's looking quick. Nah, he's backing himself, man. Yeah. If he runs as a defender coming, he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, he's he's running run straight. When we were talking about the Warriors, and I mentioned the grand final team like the Storms, and then you gave me a bit of look. You need a side eye. I picked up on it, don't worry. What side eye? When I spoke about how Storms are a grand final team, I'll tell you why. When it comes to finals, you never ever count them out fully. You never say, no matter how bad they've gone all year, they if they're in the top eight, they're a threat. Right now, New Zealand is not looking like a threat. Honestly, I agree. No, well, I agree. If those teams, in, do it. What do you What do you say to that? What? Well, of course, I agree. you can say you, you speak your mind. Go, bro. I know what you're trying to say. Melbourne finds another, another level. Gear. There's another gear. There's they always another level. Gears. I agree with him. They always find they another do. level and in the finals. Around. Belly, uh, belly, belly. Mean. belly? I was, say, I was gonna say Billy because I heard it's it's Billy Bellamy. Shout out Mason and the horror. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are they watching this? <laughs> They're better. Uh, yeah, so Yeah, I agree with you on that one, man. The next game is you, <laughs> Mr. Big Boy. Thirty two, the Roosters against Come the Tigers on. eight. No, you can't you can't flex on the Tigers. Show, show us the cockiness. No, Why can't you flex? A, they gave a, you a good run at the start. Yeah, but at the end of the game it was a training run. Like oh obviously. yeah, but they did. They held. Their, they held it, and you can't take credit from. They held it. No, they did. The they did. But Tigers all all season they've done something like this. First, like we, with that Cowboys when the Cowboys scored whatever 60, 70 points. Yeah. First twenty minutes. Remember we were it all was saying very it. close. It was very close. It was so close. Like Tigers wouldn't let them let them through, and well, then what went wrong for? Them? It's not what went wrong for them. That ain't what for Roosters. No, nah, so. what, what went wrong for them is they're missing leadership. Mm. It's literally chorus out doing everything. Literally. He's their full back. The He's their halfback. Who was the halfback? Will Smith. They took him off because he wasn't doing anything. Will yeah. Smith. Yeah. What I have? I've never heard of him. Why? He was. Uh, he I? used to. Be, no, he used to play at Penrith. He used to play Penrith. He's never been a big, big name okay. player. Never. He played a lot though, right? They took well, him he, off. But he dragged him off. 
But Manu did cop a hamstring injury or something. Did yeah, they? yeah. Uh, it's, there's uh, reports that he'll be playing. Yeah, apparently yeah, it's be, 50-50. But, yeah. but he's lost your fullback early and to come out and finish off the game like but that. But we, we were copying HIAs left, right and centre. Yeah. Billy Smith came off. Brandon Smith came off. Manu came off. Sam Walker came off. Like, everyone's just folding. Sam Walker. Man. What a time to bring him back. 10 out of 10. He came back and he directed the team exactly the way the Roosters need to be directed. Wow. 100%. He just, you know what he said? He was like, Robinson, look at me. <laughs> oh, I don't understand. This is who you dropped. Yeah. He, for they, who? Who are you dropping for? For no one? Because he's Sandon Smith. <laughs> well, he doesn't even have Sandon Smith for half the season. Oh, oh, no, don't, don't, you a, don't you talk shit about if you buy him on two because yeah, yeah. he's scored me 60. There you go. That's good enough. Who's Sandon Smith? Bro, he looked at the camera and said, this is what you're missing. Yeah, of course. The structure. The plays, the IQ. How old is he? But he's playing nah, like he's 20 I'm telling years you, old. sometimes the best players need to get that's dropped. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes they need to get dropped. Sometimes. Yes, the, you know what? That's true. And Trent starts showing up before with Latrell. Yeah. You drop him, you bring him back. Bang. It's, it's it was just like Ockenball, right? <laughs> he's gone. It's the perfect so time. You bring him up? It was the perfect time to bring, bring Sam Walker back. He came in and showed Trent Robinson and the Roosters that he needs to be there. Because, let's face it, Kiri's not directing the team the way Sam, Sam no, Walker is. Kiri's a slow down heaps. And next week with Tedesco back and Sam Walker, should be cracker. It should be. Look, we found, we found form perfect time, but we need to go into the top eight. If we miss the top eight, then it's all for nothing. Now, the big, big thing out of that game is Jared copping uh, six weeks. Week. Six weeks. Week. The only reason why I'll say it's fair, the only reason why is because of how he's got a history. He's done that. He's got a history. He doesn't have a history, no. He's got more than history. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a lineage. <laughs> this guy's, he's got a scroll. They open that up. Him and Victor Radley and just... This guy roll. He just rolls away. I don't know. Bro, I'm, I don't understand him. He's a veteran of the game. Still costing you guys games. Cause, you know, I don't understand. Why? There's 10 minutes left. Oh, Why he's a veteran. We've won the game. Why are you hitting someone? That's my issue. He's a veteran of the game. He's, he debuted in 09, 08, right? Am I wrong? Do you know who he debuted for? Mainly Sea Eagles. Oh, nice. Yeah, he played for two years. Uh, one year maybe, I think it was. I went to the Roosters. Half a season. He's a veteran of the game, not just a veteran, he's a leader. He's one of the best forwards in the game when he wants to be. Yeah, he's been a top five forward for how many years? 10 years? F- almost 15? My issue with the whole thing is it was very unnecessary. You're winning the game. Why? There's for no why? reason to put your team in that position. Who why do they have to play now? Napa? The same why like, are you putting identical. Team yeah, no. In this moment of the season, under pressure. Why? Especially your forwards. See, the worst part is now is that. No matter what we do, he doesn't play again this season. Yeah, of course. You Grand take final off. doesn't play. So he's str- he's na- need the leadership, and that's him. Now that's you're it. taking oh. off one hot head and you're bringing on Napa, another hot head. It Napa's doesn't not, work. He's, nah, nothing. Nah, he's a nugget. No nah, I don't think they'll play Napa. He's, see, the way, see the way he's moving? We've got hip, we've got Very sluggish. Who are you going to put there? Who do you put there? Well, we've got Terrell May. We've got... Hey, he's been playing. He's you been on the bench. the position. Yeah. You can't get the aggression. Yeah, no, aggression of course. Of course you can't. The aggression he brings. The aggression and leadership. Leadership. You know what... The, the couple of games you were without him at the start of the season. He's looked like he's of had course, no direction. Of course, the four lost. Lost. No mm. direction whatsoever. Mm. And now, hopefully, he's done go through that. Yeah, but see, I was like you. <laughs> I thought it was six games for that hit. It wasn't. It was two charges. Both of them three games each. What are the two? So one of them was that, and there was another one. I don't know what it well, was. First, the during, the was a, during the game, he got the two The first charges. one was a head high. I think there was a head high somewhere. Or something like that. There was another charge. So he got three for each. The clothesline from hell, JBL. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was on chorus. Are you yeah. serious? What? Why are you even attempting? It's that like, it's no, not no, wrapping no, around no, my no, head. No. Jared doing Why? Jared things. The guy's 35 years old. Yeah. You're not a kid that just jumped on. You're not Spencer Lin you. Because we're the Roosters. We don't want a full team going to the semis. <laughs> it's not allowed to happen anymore. I agree with that. Because when we did, we won finals. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. Jared doing Jared things. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so like stupid. It's dumb. Uh, what about even Suwali at fullback, bro? That's one person I was going to highlight. Impressed me, man. I, I, think think they, I think the money came in. <laughs> yeah, the check, the, the check didn't bounce. <laughs> <laughs> I think half the money came in and he's like, yep. What's that? So it's the judiciary report. Mm-hmm. Um, he was charged for twice. Uh, sorry, for dangerous contact and striking touch. Okay, so, oh, so the he butt. was charged for dangerous the contact. And, yeah, okay. uh, so the clothesline and the headbutt. They gave him free games for the headbutt? Well, uh, well only because he's got his, history, his, his points have piled what up. The cop? The for an elbow yeah. to the head. What do you cop? They kissed him on the head. Where's his scroll? I love to see his scroll. He's got. He doesn't have a scroll. They kiss him on the hand. Tell him, go, why? go away, boy. Can you say why? Who yeah. knows? The game knows. We don't. Oh, well, you're protected. When you play for the Rabbitohs, you're protected. Roosters. They've been on the sharp end of the stick. They've been hating on yous. You play for teams like Melbourne. You're protected. Rabbitohs. You're protected. It's just the way the game goes, and we know it. Yeah. Uh, Suwali'i though. Suwali'i has been 
outstanding for the per- past month. And why? Past month, free. Because Trent stopped fucking around. Stop playing him centre. Yeah. Even though he might go to centre next week, but we'll see. Why? Because of Manu? Because <laughs> of Manu. Manu. Manu will be back. It's Manu just... will play. Manu is... I like Manu, man. Manu, what a player. He's Especially at fullback. Yeah. We'll see how we go. But look, like I said, we found yeah. form at the right time. So hopefully all the results next week go our way and we beat the Rabbit as the fucking scums. Shall the fucking scums. Toothless dogs. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to the last game of the Saturday night, which was the Raiders 18 <laughs> versus the Broncos 29. Oh my God. Shaker's happy with that win. They were scrappy the first half. How are you, how are you taking that win? You can't. It was very scrappy. What? They they didn't play till like the last 10, 15 <clears throat> minutes. Look, cause anyone that thinks Raiders is... Has deserved to be in that top eight no spot. Way. No, no chance. Because there's no chance. Oh, How no. are you minus a hundred and something for and against? Yeah, no. You're beating teams at the bottom of the ladder by two points and three points, and a you've made it in. A not scrappy a good team. Broncos team. A scrappy Broncos team beat them twenty nine. The amount of times they dropped the ball. Yeah. So what is a full strength Broncos side going to do to a, a Raiders side like that? They will absolutely destroy them. Absolutely the right. Raiders have been in, been pushed in there by chance, by luck, mm. and that's all it is. Now. Reese Walsh is still playing outstanding. He's the best player. He's on the a team, freak. Honestly. He controls the team. They played without Adam Reynolds and Patrick Carrigan, and they still got the job done. <clears throat> oh look, I saw that coming. Uh, Raiders, saw it coming. To me, Raiders. Well, we're gonna win. 100%. Yeah, Ra- to me, Raiders can't do shit. Like they can't. They're nothing. Other than their forward pack, they have nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, just they went head to head in halls, bro, pretty much. Well, that's what is the. the oh, yeah, it was always gonna be a battle through the middle, and nah, never. Yeah, no. Horsburgh well, is so good until he's not. Yeah, the Broncos dominated the middle mm. the whole game. Just every time they dominated, someone dropped. Tony Stags dropped the ball yeah. like six times. But the, the the Raiders have the forward pack That's to can, thing, yeah. compete. They do, they do. It's just a matter of if they come out and play or not. Now that hit on, did you say that hit on Walsh at the end by Tarpany? That wasn't dirty at all. No way. It was very fair. Yeah. Like I said to you today, the last time someone acted injured and ran through and scored was Manu. Manu mm-hmm. against the Dragons. Why would another team take that chance? Yeah. Not even that. What are you doing? Like faking an injury. He came post match interview said, Nah, my knee's all good. I was just. I, I think it was, it was faking a hamstring. But if yeah. you're injured, you go down. You don't I just hop around. Should have covered him. Yeah, he was injured before the was before anything happened. Mm-hmm. Come off. No, no. I want to play on. Play on. Don't don't. Play on. Play on. The biggest second row on the field. Well, oh, f- problem. Problem. But Rob Walsh took it well. You know, Tarpany, like he got. They he tried to the jump him. The and they shook hands. hands. Yeah, yeah, so it was nothing. Uh, you yeah. play a contact sport, you expect to get hit. That's all it is. Like, I'm surprised he's not going to jail for that. Uh, no, his name's not Jared, bro. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> his name's not Jared. <laughs> and he's not hitting Littrell. Um, this no, so, so Broncos go to first now? Yes. Broncos do go to first. For now. They can lose that position. Now, or they literally left to do is win next week. In the earlier episodes. I don't think so. But that's for Wednesday. In the early episodes, we did say <laughs> Melbourne. We seen the Storms. Yeah, they have Melbourne. You think they're confident they're gonna beat the Storms? Broncos full team. Broncos full team. Broncos full team. Beat Confidently. Storm. Confidently beat Storms. Beat the Storms. Alright. We did say in the, the early, in the early episodes. Where's the onion? <laughs> where's <laughs> the not, onion? It's not here. We said in the early episodes that we see uh, Broncos getting a loss before Penrith. Mm. Fuck, were we wrong? Mm. I don't see Broncos losing another, well, obviously, next week. There's only one regular season game left. I don't see the Broncos losing it. <clears throat> Penrith gave up their fucking, their minor, premier, minor premiership spot, and I don't think Broncos will lose it from here. I think yeah, they I regain it. Who, Penrith? Yep. I don't see Broncos beating Storms next week. I don't know why, actually, to be honest. I've got a bit of an argument. Okay. It's so just that they're leaking points, a bit of points. Who, the Broncos? Broncos. Next week, there's no Reynolds again. Know that and help me out here. Patrick yeah. Carrigan. Carrigan, no Carrigan against Storms that are dying for a win. Dying Look, to make yeah, a you, you gotta wait for the team against list. Sofa Salomona yeah. against the four team Storms against Pappenhausen. You, you call you compare Salomona to Flegler and all that shit. Well, no, 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 no. I'm just Who cares about that, Solomona, bro? I'm just trying to say, but with Carrigan's work, yeah, work rate right in the middle course, yeah. and Reynolds structure. There's a problem. There's a gap open up for the Storms. And it gets the Storms. We're not talking Dragons or yeah. Rugs or not even Roosters. We're talking about Storms here. I do feel like Jack, uh, Jock Madden mm. is a weak link in that chain. <clears throat> but other than that, I feel like it's a full strength side. So if Jack Modern, uh, Jack, Jack Modern, Jock Madden it's can right. pick up his form, <laughs> they won't lose against Melbourne. Look, Jock, Jock Madden, bro, look at this team. They don't, he doesn't have to do anything. No, he doesn't. Control. Kick Not control. Too. Kick. Let the rest of the twelve players on this field pump these cunts. Everyone that comes I in ha- has stepped up. Yeah, of course. Because I don't know who you think the storm are this year. 
not this year. I just think when that comes to the finals time, Storms are a threat. Oh, oh, we're a week, finals we're a week out of the huh? we're a week out. Finals? Well, it's coming in, and Storms belly ache, whatever you want to call it. Belly ache. He's got a statement to make, and yeah. if it's got to be I against the Brisbane, then so be it. And I actually see there's a problem. I was seeing Shaker the other day or <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> and. He's, I don't know. He's so confident for what, and he's taking this win against no. the Raiders. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't see know, Broncos don't winning everything. Maybe I'm just a hater. Yeah, I don't see Broncos winning everything. No. But you look at Storm. They've their backs in defense are absolute dog shit. Yeah. You yeah. think Reece Walsh's not going to run a muck on them? Both sides. Then you have Farnsworth. You have Stags. You have Cobbo. Right. You have oh. Corey Oates, the I'll tree sitting on the sideline. I'll probably eat my words, but I'm, I'll happily. Reece Walsh Reece. dancing around Solomon. Solomon on that. Walsh Especially if they play Solomon a second row. Oh, he'll run around yeah, him. They, they run a muck on him. They can see the weak link now. Eh? It's yeah. a big, big gap. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If it comes to grinding, Storm are going to rip them apart. You know, they're forwards. You put a wall, brick that brick wall there, mm. boys run at it. Yeah. They all run at it. They don't care. Yeah. But if it's an open free game, Broncos with 13 plus. Well, so uh, as for taking the win, why wouldn't Shaker take the win? You take what you can get. Yeah, no, I think he's acting like Shake is like over the top happy. He was though. He was. That's like, what I'm saying. Like that's what you're saying. Like you don't go into the finals confidence when you're going head to head with the Raiders. You just. I, I feel like, from a Broncos fan point of view, mm. you're a bit worried there. Oh yeah. Of Especially course. if Reynolds set to miss the first week of finals. Is that correct? Yeah. I don't know about the first week. Oh of no, finals. no, he's only gone for two weeks apparently. So this week well, and next week. But no, that's apparently he came out today that he might be. Might be. They haven't confirmed anything. Yeah. But no, when he has a glass. Because I was saying that he might have yeah, played next. He can play like, next week, apparently. Are they just gonna rest him? I reckon. No, Blake's made out of okay, glass, maybe. bro. Hmm? Blake's made out of glass, bro. Shatters with anything. No, I reckon they're resting him, but you rest your best. Your Are heart they resting back. Carrigan? No. Nah. No, nah, Carrigan's lower leg or lower back. One yeah. of them. No, 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 no. It was um. I think it was, it was his foot. It was his foot. But yeah. honestly, it Go wouldn't surprise me if they're resting him as well. It wouldn't surprise me at all. It was a late... It was a late... It's a, a very mission. late withdrawal, bro. Yeah, a very late admission. Yeah. He did fly to Canberra with them and he was he was training with them up until that injury. <clears> so, <throat> so we'll see how scans should go this week and we'll talk uh, about it on the preview. Yeah, and before we move on, it was Croker's last home game. It was Croker's How many did he play for five minutes? What a dog. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I feel that. like, honestly, he's been forced out of Canberra. Of course he is. Because for him to come out and say, Joel, oh, nice. the, players, say that, the, the game's storm. changed. And no, 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 he's not being forced. Look, he's, yeah, he's a former as of late. They've he's been dropping him in and out, in and out. Of course he's going to be turned off the game. And uh, was, either way, he is he is a, one of the better centers to play the game. He was a big high, like a big point scorer. If it wasn't for his injuries, he probably would have, would have been up there, very much up there. Mm-hmm. And he did have a very good career, so... But I'm saying that it was him and Wyden's last game. Because yeah, we do, we do credit. Wyden, Wyden, I don't know, bro. I don't know why I see him backflipping on fucking the Rabbitohs. No, I think it's, nah. it's like the, the think cool so. down's gone. Pretty yeah, Especially what's happening now, the setups, they're going to they're gonna grab him by the, like, by the throat. Yeah, they have, well, they, they have, have to. They drag him to South Sydney. They have to. They have to now. Imagine imagine he backflips on South right now. What would happen to that, to that club? I love it already. I, think, oh, I need more to happen, bro. Whatever happens to that club is, is good. Um... That's about it for That's that That's about one. it. Um, mm-hmm. Which leads us on to <laughs> the Bulldogs 24 against Manly Seagulls 42. Now, can I start off by saying this is a fucking absolute embarrassment? Why? Bulldogs are a good team. That's what I'm saying. It's an embarrassment. They, did, uh, they tried hard. They tried hard, did they? Yeah. yeah. No fucking Garrick. No Tommy Turbo. How much... Let's face it. Manly's no one without their fullback. And they had... What's his name? Koala, Kola, whatever his name is. Kara. Caller. <laughs> Whatever you want to call him. Playing at fullback. He's an average Joe. Average? Huh. Dog shit fullback. Average Joe. He's so shit. <laughs> and he literally, the Bulldogs made him look like a superstar. The Bulldogs, full strength side, bro. Uh, but you know what? I want to hear I'm so what numb. these Bulldogs fans need to say. I just I'm need to so hear numb. it. Go. Look, yeah, yeah. I'm not Ali. I'm not going to come in here, smash the table, no, you swear off my head. No, I'm not going to. Why? I'm numb. I'm numb to this team. Because you're a shit supporter. I made a list. I'm not even going to go. I'm not going to talk about this game. I really don't want to. It's, 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 it's atrocious. It's rubbish. I made a list. Just wait. <laughs> Pango Jr. X. <laughs> Thompson. X. Okumbo. X. Perham. X. Waddell. X. One, two, three, four, five. Shouldn't have even been in this team. Because half of them are leaving anyway. They're, they're going off. Off contract. They shouldn't have been there today. Bring someone else from the, from the reserve grade. From my dad's garage, whatever you want to do. <laughs> you bring someone on. I've got another list for the people that are in there for a long time and doing absolutely nothing. Burden, Mani, Kikau, Adakar. Where the fuck is the leadership? Where is it? 
I just, tell me who we who, why did we negotiate burden for how long trying to pay him his money the right money and what's he doing kicks a bomb doesn't do that anymore where's money he's come from a fucking I'm numb to it man I'm so numb doesn't these like players own big money mm. big money yeah. kick out how long he was missing for how many games he comes back 20 games number. 22 games missing what's he what's he done tell me what he's done one try, one try. Before. One try was fed to him. I don't car looking like half himself. He's looking like hey, when, Cherry Evans, when Cherry Evans caught him on the, on the wing, I was like, yeah. nah, He was yeah. always, what's he doing? Where's his speed? Where's his fastest man on the planet? The, the last person on this list is Serato. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. I'm not a hater of Serato. I'm, I'm not that lots, top, top of fan. There's got to be questions asked. Oh, 100%. Not attack. I don't care about that because we're a shit team. He's a defensive coach. He's defensive coach. Penrith defensive. Penrith from Penrith. Penrith. No, he doesn't come from the Raiders. He hasn't come from Dolphins. He hasn't come from fucking the Jets. He's come from Penrith. <laughs> defensive coach. Burden. Ta- he doesn't tackle anymore. You know that? He slap tags. Yeah. Have you realised? He's so shit. He doesn't go for the tackle anymore. People he have been running around. Tag, him. Trust the slap tag. His people have been running around him like he's not even there. He's, he's, they've turned him to a turnstile. It's what yeah, are we even, even when they do run that, he just slips off. What no. are we talking about anymore? Honestly, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Wait. I could go off forever, but we, I don't even. <laughs> week in, week out, oh I, I start to. I, I talk to myself. I sit there and I conversate with myself. Do I tip the dogs this week? They're coming up against a fucking manly side that has nobody besides Sherry Evans. No one. And I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll tip the fucking dogs. A full strength side, and they come out and produce that shit. Ado Carr has no confidence whatsoever. His speed has gone down the drain. He makes a br- line break. A 30 fucking six year old man catches him. He stops. No, he stops and looks on the inside and then barges through. What the he fuck gave are you up. doing? He gave up. He literally yeah, crumbled that's and what went. He does. And he winches to the ref about what? About what? Not like game defining moments. Just about anything and everything. You know what he winched about today? The someone poked his eye. Did you see that? <laughs> He does it every week. Someone he's poked his eye. What's that guy from the Sharks? I was running with blood all over his body. McInnes. McInnes. Yeah. Your eye. You're complaining about an eye poke. This guy's running with half of his brain showing. Yeah, no, McInnes. That's the difference between <laughs> players that are made for it and players. No, McInnes will fucking yeah, half his head will come off and he will be in there ready for the next hit up. Adoka, the dogs have become a graveyard for any good player. Dogs of war. Dogs oh of boar. The bloke was commenting. Yeah, there's a lot of dogs of boar now. <laughs> dogs of boar. Burden has no confidence whatsoever. No confidence, man. Kick he's... out is not even there. No one is giving him fucking the right ball. He's just, he's there. He's a passenger. Yeah, I've always said Burden to me, to me as an opinion, I don't care what you have to think. He's not a 5'8". No, he's not. You chuck him in the centres and if he wants a ball play there, go hard. The One pro- of the best centres in the game actually. The last pro- year. Oh, sorry. No, two years ago. Yeah, but years ago. The problem he is, is he's not a five eight. He's defending he one in from the center, and he's still getting turnstiled. Imagine if he's out in the centers, he's going to get turnstiled yeah, turn again. Him, yeah. His defense, his you know what it is. I think what it is, honestly, is that uh, during the year, if he misses a tackle, he was relying on someone else to make that tackle. Yeah, you know. But now it's if they go through, they go through. Why should I break my he, back? He was playing on Preston side, wasn't well, he? Like Ali said yes, last week, sure, yeah. it's the yeah, one. Was, it's yeah. the one percenters that they're not doing. We don't have two percenters though. No one percent, no two percent. Literally, he's losing fucking ten percent. No, we uh, had. Did you see the way Sipley ran for him today? Yeah. Sipley, everyone. What's a Sipley? <laughs> <laughs> What's a Sipley? I've never heard of a Sipley Can't until do. today. Why does everyone debut score? Was that a debut score? No, no, he's playing. No, he's played. Sipley's played. I've never heard it's of a Sipley. I don't right, get what you're right. saying. <laughs> I've never heard of the name Sipley. I don't want to hear it again. I will never hear it again. How unless it's against the Bulldogs. How many of their forwards literally made line breaks today? If not all of them. Can you imagine if Hazleton was against us? He would have scored three. Hazleton would have mopped his. <laughs> I think, and I honestly, I think <sighs> the locker room has turned their back on Seraldo. It doesn't look, look like anyone's there to play for him. Have but what, what do they have to be upset about? You've got Crowder and Cherry next to you, bro. Crichton, thank you. We'll go back to Crichton. Crichton, and the way tough, he played, and tough. the way and tough. Like they're going to win the game. No. The way no, Crichton no, played fullback for Penrith la- yeah. this was, week, everyone this week, yeah. everyone laughed at him. Oh no, you can't really say anything about this week because he was changing. He was going from no, no, this, this week was hard and like really an experience. You can really judge him off uh, Samoa, right? Did he play fullback then? Wait, when, when, so when, was what game did he play fullback and everyone like shot on him? Any game they play, he's played fullback a, a couple times for Penrith. It was two years ago, I'm pretty but sure. But it's not. That's a long time. It's not, and he's have signed him for fullback money, which is which baffles me, because he's one of the best damaging centers in the game. 
I don't see him. I honestly don't see him doing anything at fullback. He won't. He and can't ball play. Well, he won't be fullback. That's the issue. And if they're bringing Blake Taff to take that fullback position, it's just going nowhere. I think they've put him there before. They have Avarillo. Is a freak. That's a big loss. They got rid of Avril to put Blake Taff there. It just doesn't make Bring sense. Blake Taff. Nah, Perrin, bro. You got to skip him. In the <laughs> He's Perrin. It's. How do you go backwards? It's embarrassing. How know? did he make the team today? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. How? How did, did you he see make why the team he today? was playing fullback? Oh my god! <laughs> Seventy minutes of the game, Perrin was our fullback, right? Mm-hmm. You know when they put him in centre and put Avril at fullback? Seventieth minute. Yeah, and he scored two tries. And he scored, Seventieth yeah. minute. I haven't oh, realised should there's never... There's nothing to say. What I are we mean, saying? It's a shit team. Shit what does, team. What do we... There's nothing to say. Hayes Perham came through the ju- oh, junior shit. juniors at Para as one of the be- best centre winger, whatever he used to play, centre wing. And for the Bulldogs to sign him and throw him at fullback, it's just... If Arthur killing, doesn't killing want screen. you, if Arthur doesn't want you, then no one should have... No one should want him. This is Arthur. If Arthur doesn't want you, no one should have you. <laughs> this is what he was going to say. Whatever I was going to say. Cherry Evans. Talk about the positives. Cherry Evans. Uh, he's been outstanding. Is it? What happened to the retirement talks? No way near retirement. No, no way. Oh, yeah, the retirement talks were origin retirement. So representative retirement. Yeah, understandable. He's looking so good. He's apparently he's looking at a car. Because <laughs> <laughs> how did Do you know, when they were running near each other, so obviously Cherry Evans has to cover more coming from the side. I'm like, oh, how the car's gonna. He's gonna he's burn gonna him. him. Yeah. And then Cherry Owen starts getting in front of him and to an angle. So, what the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah. He got to a position where he stood in front of him and he could actually like, shield him. Mm. I was like, what the fuck? That's embarrassing. Cherry Evans, though, looking very good. He is. He, is. he scored double. Look, it, it's, it's, it, <clears> to me, it's what could have been if Tom was there this season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Cherry Evans. He, Like honestly, Cherry Evans. I like. I'm yeah. looking at next year that team. He's man. aging like a fine wine. He's line, aging, mate. and next year that team. Oh, honestly, don't be. Don't don't even cross them off a top six finish. No, bro. He's aging like so a fine wine. Luke line. Brooks. Sh- oh, Luke Tom Brooks. Tom Turbo smart, going there is the best thing he's ever done in his career. Oh, 100%. And I, 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 I can see him models. actually <laughs> pumping it up there. Oh, we spoke about this. He'll be up we there. spoke about this when he signed. Him and Cherry Evans in uh, as the halves pairings. And then you got Tommy Turbo running off the back of both of them, oh, wow. controlling both sides. Garrick on one side. Well, Saab's only Saab. getting better, right? Saab is and getting better. And, and, and then you've got Schuster. If Schuster can find form in the back row, okay, that's, he will be a gun. Wouldn't agree on that, but anyways. Trust me, he will. Uh, Did you no, see last year? I don't row. care. I don't, care. don't you dare bring up that name. They won. Don't bring up that name. <laughs> no, but we'll, that no, name. no, we'll bring don't up Perham. We'll bring up Perham and all that stuff instead. He played today. Do not bring up a name, especially like Sabotsta. That's his name. Schuster, it's in his name. Did Flanagan play today? Huh? He played though. You can talk about him. Schuster's not what we're talking about. That's what I'm asking. No, we shit. Don't talk about Bulldogs, bro. Why? Fuck the... But on the Bulldogs. Why we... Don't about Bulldogs, bro. What about Cherry Evans? How about the (laughs) Cherry... Honestly, um, Luke Brooks, after he legally robbed Tigers. (laughs) How much did he make? God, that's what Brooks was like. He wanted to leave for a long time, bro. (laughs) Don't let him go. He legally robbed Tigers and now he's going to one of the best halves pairings in a long time. He made big money. He made big money. Now, Cherry Evans only can fucking open up the pathway for him, make him that much better. 100%. Even if it's two years or one year, he's going to teach him a whole, a whole lot of football knowledge. I agree. Moving on from that laughing stock, that is the Bulldogs, though. We will yes, move on that's to... That's a good way to move on, mate. Very good way to move on. Uh, we'll move on to the Knights 32 against the Sharks 6. Now, the Sharks were without Nico Hines. Yeah, but then Knights are out without Hastings. Who cares? Everyone, Don't discredit up Ponga. Uh, Ponga. He's too good. Ponga. Hines or no Hines, Ponga is good. Best fullback he's in the game right now. So uh, look, besides Reece Walsh. Because if I'm Raymond, He's better than Reece Walsh. Change my mind. No. Yes, he's better He's better than Reece Walsh. Change my mind. I'll tell you why. Oh, here we go. I'll tell you why. Oh, Reece Walsh more. has so so much people around him that can also complement his style. His quick style. His, his over the... Those, those mad balls he throws. 20 metre balls. Ponga... Doesn't really have anyone around him. Honestly. Well, you can talk about Mazu, Gamble, Hastings. I understand they're very, very good players. But there's a massive level, massive between them players and Ponga. Brad you know Mambez, but he found form after fucking Oregon. You're talking about, like, there's a big level. When it comes to Broncos, I just feel like it's much easier for Walsh to do his job. Yeah. Fun with Stags, Arthurs. 100%. Uh, Ezra Mam and, and Reynolds Pongo. are playing off the road. That's just what I think anyway. I just think Ponga right now, I'll, I'll sort of just put him above as well. I do like your view on things because... 
the comparing both sides, world of difference. Mm. The way Reese Walsh plays with all these elite stars ahead of him is different to where the Ponga is playing with av- with an average side. Yeah, yeah. It's the minds you're talking about, not not Broncos. Yeah, but because if but if you're talking about this year, Walsh is creating things by himself now. Whereas Ponga's team, for some reason, so has long. found so much form. Yeah. You've got as a team, you yeah, like yeah. as a team. Yeah. So Ponga's, yeah, yeah. Well, he looks very good, honestly, he does. But you got people like Gagai and Marzu and Bears and, and, and Dominic and Young, because Felix, Felix Crossland, and Cameron yeah. Smith, apparently. Yeah. So the, 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 That's what I'm saying. This even Hastings was playing good in two games. Say the names you just mentioned. You can't put any of those players. No, no way, you can't. No. And you're not, you're not just putting them above one level. No way, because the Broncos team is at least two or three levels above any See, player the, in the Knights. That's the thing. That's so the about. Broncos have pure talent, but pure. the Knights are playing with heart. They've got heart and passion. Yeah, but you've got, you got to look at them when Ponga was out as well. They were still winning games. Yeah, they got heart yeah, and passion. Miller, Remember, Michael they took, Penrith, they yeah. took Penrith when they were on a roll to, to extra time. To extra time, yeah. yeah. And Ponga wasn't even there. Yeah. So this year, it's a new Knights team. He signed, by the way, with who? Super League team actually. Who did? Lachlan Miller. Oh yeah, that's right. He has to, he has to. He can't stay. Yes. You should go. He can't stay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Very good player, but he has to go. He done nothing wrong all year except for that well, one game. Played well. The one game where he was defending. And on the court, he's running at him. In the trial lines. Well, like what about Ockenball? Are you upset about Ockenball leaving the dog? Who? Ockenball? Who? Cock and balls? <laughs> anyway, it's back to Ponga. <laughs> please, bro, please. No, but I do understand what you're saying about Ponga, which, you know, that did like, I don't know, give me a twist in the brain. Yeah, yeah, no, he's got a fair point. Because Reese Walsh, last year of the Warriors, Nothing. Yeah, he looked good, but yeah, he was but, just a fancy but, player yeah, on the team. That's right. When 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 uh, Walsh gets that ball off Reynolds or Mam, ma- off Mam, and beside him you see, who who does he play on? Who which which? Edge? Both sides. But him usually goes to stats. Mainly, there's a main he side he runs on. Stats side. Yeah. When you see that, rather than seeing Dominic Young, you get more. You know, the yeah. confidence just a bit more, just a tad more. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll I'll confirm his theory just a bit more. If you put Ponga in that Broncos side. Takes it up another level, hundred percent. Well, you can see him in Queensland. By the way, I'm a two-headed Queensland fan. I he support her. He is. A, look, we are disappointed that we have him here, but mm. we scraped. The I'm one of those of guys. Yes, I was born in New South Wales. Yes, I live in New South Wales, but I do go for Queensland. Uh, through why through. are you admitting that to people? Which means yes, he's an idiot. No, he's a bulldog supporter. It just makes sense. He's stupid. You know who I am? I'm the guy they talk about for origin. <laughs> the one they keep mentioning, um, and I do wear it on my. I, honestly. It's, it is what it is. It is. Well, well, why don't you tell the camera why you I'm not going to say why. That doesn't deserve an answer from me. You guys don't too. Just, I'm a Queensland so supporter. So just say because I'm a flop. Say since it. I, if I tell you the year, it doesn't sound suspect too. That's when they started. Now. 2012. 20, <laughs> 26. 2006. Yeah. I'm a Queensland anyway, supporter. Anyway, so... Started just, the dynasty. You just said um, if you went to the Broncos, or, you see it in Queensland. You see it in Queensland. When he's got the locks of Slater next to him. Do you remember that? You remember that year? Slater. He had Slater with him. Yeah, this team because you, you see his potential straight away. That this guy's gonna lead a team, and now he's doing it. One hundred percent, he is. He Ten years later, he is, uh, yes, he is. He's an, he is a footballer through and through. His yeah. heart is for the game. It just sucks That's that he is one. His one head head knock away from retirement. Well, today, I've, today he that was his uh, shoulder. That was a shoulder. Because if I was Raymond, why are you waiting for the last ten minutes? Mm-hmm. While the first ten clip him. Every game plan should be get rid of him. Uh, it is no, but you don't want to say it. As much as that's, yeah, that's the way the, that's why the game goes. You don't want to say your team's fucking shit. Look, if, if I meet the <laughs> if my team was to meet Knights in the grand final, well, I'd grab Spencer Linu or some sh- random cunt. Mm. Hey, long as your target, no, clean him. No, what you do is you put Spencer Linu in the cage, don't feed him for weeks, and let him out. <laughs> put put pop, <laughs> just, just, just put pop his head, head gear in there. <laughs> <laughs> he's sent. <laughs> that's it, his head gear. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the Knights, uh, uh, the Knights. Do mop the sharks, which are shit. I don't know how we veered off so fucking. Eight, eight in a row, bro. No, no. You're saying sharks are shit. Sh- sharks are not no, no, shit. No, no, no. They're, not no, shit. No, they're not. They're not. You bro. can't. You got to. You got sharks are very. Inc- the whole team no, no. Performance. Sharks are not shit. They're inconsistent. Yeah. Very inconsistent. They have the team. No, no. To it just shows them. how much Hines means to the team. Uh, but even with Hines, I'm saying that they're, they're in patches and this season. And for all that, I still highlight that Tracy's so good. Connor Tracy's a freak. So I try that score from him. Played with his heart. We've said it week in, week out, but wherever you play that guy, he's going to give you 110. Like I said, he's a footballer through and through as well. What a player. No, uh, like, even after this, I won't write off the Sharks in the same No, you don't write off the Sharks. You don't. They have a good Raiders team. Raiders are still there, like anyone else. <laughs> is Hines back? <laughs> what, why Hines, he Hines should be back next week, I'm pretty sure. What happened, by the way? I didn't, I didn't, I'm not up to date. Hamstring, I think. 
Yeah, I think so. Or quad, yeah. something like that. Something like I'm that. sure. And something that's arresting him, in other words, maybe. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Just the game plan of theirs. But well, now, they knew they were going to lose against That stuff's well. them because if Raiders beat them this week, they can fall out of the top. Eight. Raiders beat them. Oh, sorry, next week, yeah. Raiders are going to beat them next week. If Hines not playing? <laughs> <laughs> bro. That's, that's funny, bro. Raiders literally can't beat anyone from Bulldogs the top, bottom, eight. Because the Raiders will find some yeah, random thing to Bulldogs get Bulldogs competed with the Raiders. Don't bring up the Raiders and that, don't bring up Shista. Don't. What, that's you not, beat the Storm. What are you talking about? Storms of no one. Bellamy wasn't even there. Oh, that, seriously. That's not a positive. <laughs> You just competed with them, but you've lost. This guy. You just competed with them, but you've lost. Your, your side on paper is so much better than this. That is a fucking embarrassment. That's your even team, worse. Your team is fucking shit. Well, that's, that's even no, worse. That, that's, he's saying that it's better for the Raiders. What are you talking about? You just had a full side against them. They just so shit. Bulldogs are shit, bro. I don't know where yeah, we're going it, right yeah, now. That's it. Bulldogs are shit. Raiders are shit. And shit's so shit. You just a rebuilding. <laughs> I can't stand him. We'll give 800K. Him, we'll give him the excuse. Who's his manager? I want his manager. Do well, you want to give him an excuse? Oh, uh, we have no chemistry. The team hasn't played to the, together long enough. Yeah, but put your house on 2024, but... Yeah, yeah, fuck off. Uh, honest... <laughs> that, 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 that well, like you're such a shit club. Honestly bro. speaking, honestly, um, honestly, this is hand on heart. 2034? Doggies make a top eight next year. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, where are you? Honestly. Is Ali know. sitting here next to me? No, no, honestly. You want to sit in the middle? Do they make it out of the first week of finals? I don't know. But honestly, next year, with Taf, Crichton, Takiyaho comes in. When does he come in, brother? <laughs> Okay, ho- hold well, on. You're relying really on a 33 year old or something. Which time have you been my friend? They're still going to do his fitness test. So if he doesn't pass that, there's a problem. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on to that because I'm going to bring up something. The Rabbitohs do get the bite to end the round, by the way. That's the last two points they're going to get in their season. Yeah. They can go fucking. Hopefully, hopefully, yes. Um, I just want to ask you now that th- this is my question that is, what did you say? What did I tell you to hold on to? Oh, he's going to make the top eight next year. <laughs> I don't know why that's... That gave me a good laugh. Well, why, okay. why would you make the top eight next year compared to this year? Okay, why? Yeah. First of all, this was Serrata's first year. Okay? That's for one. He came into that's a team... That's a shit excuse. He came into a damaged... Oh, what? Can you relax? <laughs> you Roosters yeah. fan. Get yeah, yeah. back. Yeah, let them in talk. All, all right, let me cook. Clearly you know nothing about rugby league. Let, 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 let me cook. Let me cook. Serrata came into a already damaged Bulldogs team. Already it was damaged. It, there was nothing to work off, all right? And then he, he had, set it on fire. He He's like, this is damage here. Yeah, all, all these names, all these names. Am I seriously going to go through? Ali's already explained this a hundred times. Uh, whatever you and Ali say. You can't get worse. We can only get better. No. no. Actually, no. getting worse. No way. There is still two positions to fall down the Why don't you ever talk about the injuries? Why are you always talking about someone else's Because everyone has injuries. When Ray, I've got another one for you. When Roos had those injuries, um, 2021, 2020, 2021. Okay. He's had Cordner, Orbison, Friend, uh, name it. Yeah, I'm, I'm over the point for you to make. He had yeah. all these injuries, and everyone gave them the excuses. When Bulldogs had, but we made finals we with are. those injuries. Yes, we made it to the second week. Yes, don't copy your shit club to mine, please. Don't. Now, uh, my question Did is: Did OB use an O4 though? What's the last? What's the last, what's the last thing, thing he's have done? An what's the last thing he's done Did in the comp? OB use an O4. In 2010, so you're, you're, so you're going for 20 years ago, Glory. 20 years ago. We beat you 60 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Such a shit club. That's what you have to go to. In 2010, we beat them 60 to 14. Morris scored four Do you, want me, do you want me to bring out the score we put on news? The 91 to 6 or some that shit? Was, uh, that was the Dragons. No, that was the Dragons. The have done that as well. So in the t- I'll give you another stat, guys. Another go, stat. Yeah. Sports pitch. Blah, blah, blah. Sports pitch. Stat. Listen wow. up. And the biggest six high scores. Most of them against the Dogs. <laughs> uh, four of them. Against the dogs. Exactly. Is shit. So please stay, stay in your lane. And just that sucks. That yeah. hurts. Yeah. Yeah. He's good. deserve it. He's that a hurts. fucking shit club. Shit club, shit fans, everything. Like he's all My shit. My question is now. Everything shit about the Bulldogs. Do you... We're do you... Better. Now, the way the, end, the back end of the season is going, do you believe that the Tigers deserve the one spoon? <laughs> deserve? Yeah, yeah. If you can reform the bottom three... No, Bulldogs The Bulldogs easy. have easy. to be... Surely, that's, that's insane. You have a team like Dragons who's folded. What's wrong with you? We're talking about Wooden Spoon. Yeah, okay. You should be there, not Tigers. That's what I'm saying. And the Dragons, what? They're good, apparently. Apparently, they're worthy. At least, at least they have heart in that team. What heart? Hated that team, they're yeah. They've folded. They've become nothing in the, the end of the year. If we versus right now, who wins? No, no. You don't have to think about it. So you're just being a flop now. So <laughs> no, no, no. If we versus right now, with, with the way we've been going the past month, yeah. taking top eight teams. To the no wire. No way we lose to you guys. No oh. way. We lose to, there's a team we lose to you, Tigers. We don't lose to the Dragons. No way in the world we lose to the Dragons. Dragons? Who are the Dragons? Who the fuck is Manly? You just got fucking 40 points got put on you. That's a fair point. How much did you guys beat them by? Who? Manly. We mopped them. What was the score? I don't know. I think they beat us. <laughs> Anyways. 
<laughs> That's when you got robbed. Oh, uh, yeah, we got robbed, you grog. It wasn't even a big score. Robbed. 42 points, right. man. Garrick right. was there. Garrick was there. I can't. If you. You had fucking Koala playing fucking fullback. Only only team team koala. <laughs> you can't win here, are you? Won, Ali, I know how you feel. They won 24 to 18 against the Yeah, and it was a bullshit and trap. And they got robbed. They and we got robbed. Of course, we didn't have to yeah. fact check. Sean that. Russell Everyone scored. Knew. Sean Russell scored. Sean Russell. Is that his name? No, Sean Russell's not. Ah, oh, oh, Dan, Dan Russell. Uh, That's Dan the Russell. winger. Yeah. Dan Russell. Scored. Dan Russell. Fuck Power, don't worry. We've got to try taking off us that game. A Dan Russell try. Nah, and you, if, if I go back in the archives of our WhatsApp group, yeah. you agreed with to that. What did I agree to? That Dan yeah, Russell should have had his, his first try of the season. No, 100%. Aha, uh-huh, so we got robbed that game. <laughs> but he's lost. That's it. What am I doing here anyway? I don't know. Because as long as at least we identified that Bulldogs game? are a shit club, yeah. uh, I can go to We'll see next year anyway. Next year is going to be Every year is the same season. excuse. We got Bronx What can we say? We said last year. No, we're shit. And we we don't can only anything. look to the future. The future is bright. It's, it's not that bright. It's not that bright. Would you put your house on it? What house? The, the one you're renting. <laughs> I'll put my lease on it. Lease. Anyway, so I would, I would reshuffle that bottom three and put the Bulldogs. You would, right. but you can't. So it's pretty pointless. Just being the past if he fi- could, I, the past but you five, can't. The past five. If games. I could, we could have Jared Hain, but we can't. The past five games, who's played better, the Dragons or the Bulldogs? Dragons by a long shot. Tigers or the Bulldogs? Tigers by a long shot. So for the past five games, you put Bulldogs at the end, on the bottom. They're not at the end though. We're not talking. The... We're talking about. He facts. can't say, it, but while he say another team, he'll say, yeah, yeah. Who like who? No. Honestly. Raiders. Who should Raiders be last? <laughs> I'll put it. You have the worst foreign against in the game. You have the worst attack in the game and the worst defense in the game. The fact that he's not ahead of us just fucking grinds my gears. Mm. Some would say. Hey, that's a reference to Family Guy. It is. Grinds my gears. I really, that. really chafes my butt crack to say that. That turned me on. Makes me moist. That it makes, me no, it doesn't <laughs> make me moist. But um, that is round 26 review. The Bulldogs are shit. This is Channel shit. 9. You <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, just this I fucking can't stand him. Dragons are shit. Roosters are pretty good. So cool. this is, Car- there, this is Carlin's first and last video if he keeps running his mouth it like this. It is, you. apparently. Hey, they pay me, bro. I'm not paying them. But yeah, this <laughs> this is uh, the round 20, twenty six review. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, like and subscribe to the video, and uh, go watch our other videos if you like to watch our other videos. Billy does have a Snapchat if you want to subscribe. How much is it a week? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. If you want exclusive photos, we do have an Instagram and a TikTok if you want to follow them too. And um, we will see you on the next episode. Are you gonna say peace. 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 <laughs> <laughs>